can working out and getting overheated cause an MS attack? To hear my answer, don't turn away, because that starts right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. I love reading viewers' comments and answering your questions, and that's what this video is about. Today's question was written by Ellen, who asks, can working out in the gym and getting hot cause MS flares or pseudo flares? Well, howdy, Ellen. Thank you for viewing the channel and thank you for your question. It's a really important one. As many of you know, it's my strong opinion that commitment to exercise as part of your lifestyle is one key pillar in beating up on MS. It's one of the key ways that we make you the most awesome version of you despite having this condition. Staying prehabilitated and in shape is a really important piece to this puzzle. And yet you bring up a really important point. What happens when you're working out and your body gets hot? And can that trigger an attack or a pseudo attack? So let's dig in. Ellen, you can't make yourself have an attack by exercise you're not going to make your MS progress faster or trigger an MS exacerbation because you got overheated on the elliptical or lifting weights. That's not gonna happen. What does happen, however, is as you exercise and expend energy, your core body temperature goes up, you turn red and sweat, and in the setting of an increased core body temperature, you can have a pseudo flare or a pseudo exacerbation. So let's talk about what that is. When you suffer an MS attack, and there's damage to a part of the brain. And for this example, we we'll use the optic nerve. So let's say that in the past, you suffered an optic neuritis, where the optic nerve became damaged and you lost vision in your eye, and then after a period of time in steroids, the vision returned. The fact is the optic nerve isn't working as well as it used to, and let's say that it's working at 85%. Under normal circumstances, that optic nerve does just fine. However, when you overload the system by heating up your core body temperature, that optic nerve can short circuit temporarily. And in the setting of significant exercise and getting overheated, you can start to have diminished vision. This is a pseudo exacerbation or a pseudo attack. It's not actually a real MS attack. It's the reemergence of an old neurological symptom in the setting of being overheated. We see this rather frequently in the setting of a urinary tract infection or a febrile illness and some people are exquisitely sensitive to heat and they can have this when they work out. So a couple key takeaways here. It's not gonna damage your body. I want you to know that because I don't want you to be scared to exercise. There are also several things that we can do to overcome it. Number one, you can try to keep the body cool. Now, there's lots of different ways of trying to do this. In, in an upcoming video, I'm gonna do my first unboxing of a new set of cooling vests that a company just sent me. Wearing a cooling vest while working out is an awesome pro tip. It can keep your body temperature low enough that you don't short circuit that optic nerve. Also, drinking ice water or using cool compresses during exercise can be helpful for some patients. If you are inclined to get into a swimming pool, that is a fantastic way to exercise with MS. Why? Water pulls heat off your body by convection and it can help cool the body as you're working out and exercising in a pool, whether that be swimming or water Zumba or even just walking laps in the water. Lastly, there's actually a medicine called Ampira. In Europe, it's Fampira, and the real name is 4-aminopyridine. Now, this is a symptomatic medicine that requires a prescription, and only about a third to half of people with MS tend to respond. But when you do, it literally buttresses against heat sensitivity. So there you have it, Ellen. Exercising and getting overheated will not cause an attack, but it can cause the temporary reemergence of symptoms, which will then go away when you cool down. Don't let that scare you. I need you to exercise as part of your lifestyle to beat MS. Once again, my name is Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me. I also want to thank the wonderful people that show love and support the channel by watching these videos and by leaving comments and questions. I love reading them and I love responding. Thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. It would make me feel great. Just click that little red button and ring the notification bell so you'll be alerted each time I publish a new video or do a live stream. 
It's my goal to publish at least one video a week and live stream as much as I can get away with. Until my next video or the next time I'm online, this is Aaron Boster saying, take care.